The twins survived the night and by dawn are back with the pride. But this morning, the two cubs' lives are about to change. The elder sister, the most secretive, returns with four cubs, all males. They're a week or two younger than the twins. Three are full of confidence, but one holds back. He might have been called the runt of the litter in the past, but he's probably just a more tentative character. Each lioness has four teats. Nevertheless, the new cubs are keen to suckle with their older cousins. For the original confident female twin, it's an inconvenience. But for her brother, a lone male, it's salvation. Four new males, cousins. If all survive, they could form a powerful coalition. And he's the eldest, potentially the leader. Lions share suckling duty, called allosuckling. It forges bonds between litters and is the foundation for future prides. All six trying to suckle at once is too much for the mother. She sends the whole lot of them off to explore. The cubs immediately form a gang of six. But it's now that they face the greatest danger. The Luangwa River has fallen to a few feet of water. The barrier is down. The mainless three on the north bank have ambitions to the south and are closing in on the Insefu Pride's territory. They set out across no man's land. Their mission, defeat the two brothers, drive out the male adolescents, kill all the cubs, and mate with their mothers. Now, they are in enemy territory. They have strength in numbers, but the brothers have the home team advantage. They can smell the resident male's pungent odor. For years, the brothers have laid their scent along their boundary. The mainless three are not intimidated and mark themselves. They keep to the river's edge, safer for them, but their eyes turn inland, searching for the pride.
Half a mile away, the Ensefu lions are resting, oblivious to the approaching threat. But there seems to be a new tension. The cub's little teeth are sharp, and the two mothers become increasingly short-tempered. The gang of six is a real handful. They want to feed together, but with only four teats on offer, that's impossible. Milk changes over time, from high fat to high protein. So it may be that the cubs prefer one mother over another. The young lioness has finally come into estrus, and the males are in attendance. For four days, she mates 30 times a day, mainly with the elder brother, just to make sure any offspring are his. She'll quickly become pregnant, and in 110 days, she'll give birth. Her hormones fire up the males. Their roars tell of strength and vitality. Their urine reeks of power and sexual prowess. Already fired up by courting cubs and mothers, and now by the hormones of a successful mating, the brothers set out with renewed confidence, determined to defend their pride. They are two champions in their prime, kings of the river. A change in the wind brings these smells and sounds to the three invaders. They seem to reconsider their options. They already have a pride of their own to control on the north bank. And if they become trapped on the wrong side of the river, they could lose everything. Their confidence evaporates. They return north to their own kingdom and their own battles at home. The Ensefu pride has triumphed. The two sisters have six healthy cubs, and the youngest lioness has a replacement litter on the way. With five new males, the pride's future seems secure. In a few years' time, these young lions may cross the river to rule over new prides of their own. Hey Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.